Good morning. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's always um, been an honor to be invited at the last minute to come and speak for you. And uh, parang troubleshooter, ano? It, it's okay. Well, uh, kadikit ko si Pastor James, eh. And when he's in need, I, I, I'll, I'll try to come and help him. <laughs> Okay, um, could you say to your neighbors, I'm so glad to see you this morning? Okay, hallelujah. And, um, hindi ko na po papatagalin, uh, we'll go right straight to the word, okay? Andiyan na yung PowerPoint naman natin, okay. So, ang title po ng uh, aking mensahe po ngayon is Target Your Oikos for Evangelism. So, I was told by uh, uh, Pastor James na uh, ang inyong uh, team for this year, I think it's Empowered to Witness. And for this third month of March is Intentional Witnessing. Okay? And um, I'm, I'm uh, so glad to... Be able to come and share to you to target your oikos. Ano ba yung oikos? Mamaya malalaman nyo. Basahin muna natin ang ating text, Acts chapter 16, 29-32. Could you read with me? I want to hear your beautiful voices. Ready? Read. The jailer called for lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, In the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for the reading of your word. I ask you, Lord, to bless and anoint your word as we hear from you this morning. At dalangin ko rin po, Lord, na ihanda niyo po ang aming mga puso't isipan at damdamin sa pagtanggap at pakinig ng iyong salita ngayong umagang ito. Sapagkat, Lord, alam po namin na ang iyong salita ay buhay, ang iyong salita ay ang katotohanan, at ang iyong salita ay makapangyarihan, Lord. One word from you, O Lord, can change our lives. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I also ask you to guard my mouth, my tongue, and my heart as I share your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay. So, ayon sa ating verse, um, God is concerned for your household. And uh, siguro, uh, those who are not familiar with Greek, uh, kasama sa ating uh, title yung oikos. Ano ba yung oikos? It is a Greek word. Actually, ang oikos is um, kasama yun sa aming uh, IFA discipleship, no? yung uh, vision statement po namin. Every person, household, oikos, discipled for the glory of God. So ano ba yung oikos? Andiyan na po. Oikos is um, a Greek word meaning the people in your lives. Okay. So, marami, uh, maraming klaseng oikos. Merong household oikos. Yung mga kamag-anak, mga pinsan, mga kapamilya, kapuso, whatever. At ang mga church oikos. Yung uh, kasamahan natin sa church. At yung mga extended oikos po natin. Ano yung mga extended oikos po natin? Yung mga suki natin sa barbershop, sa hair salon sa yung mga attorneys na kilala natin no yung uh, yung suki natin sa sa palengke sa groceries no yung mga taong nakakasalumuha natin so ang uh, isang tao ay merong average na 70 to 80 oikos okay so average yan maring mas people person kayo, siguro, siguro mas marami sa 80. Siguro mga 800 pwede. Okay, kung people person kayo. So, and uh, oikos, uh, maganda yan kasi you, you already have a uh, 
built-in relationship na. Kaya kung ta-targetin mo siya, you want to share to your oikos the, the, the good news, mas uh, madali kaysa yung pupunta ka sa mall, you approach the stranger and uh, you say them, uh, magsishare ka ng, uh, ng, 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 ng gospel sa kanila, medyo mahirap yung cold turkey na hindi mo kakilala, medyo mahirap. Pero pag meron na kayong build-in relationship, mas madali. Okay? Sa 2 Peter 3.9, sabi dito, The Lord is not really being slow about His promise to return, as some people to think. No, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to perish, so He is giving more time for everyone to repent. Okay? So, buti na lang, hindi pa dumarating si Lord, ano? Sino meron di uh, meron po pa tayong mga oikos o mga kakilala natin na hindi pa ligtas. Tas ang kamay. Sino meron dito? Hindi pa ligtas. O yung kakilala niyo ligtas na lahat. I'm sure every mas marami. Malaking percentage po natin na meron pa tayong mga oikos na hindi pa ligtas. Okay? So God is concerned with them also. Pag dumating na yung Panginoon, ay uh, lagot. Wala na silang chance. Habang hindi pa dumarating ang Panginoon, let's do intentional witnessing to them. Amen ba? Okay. So, <clears throat> yes, so sa <clears throat> sinasabi niyo, yes, Pastor, I want to do intentional witnessing to them. I want to obey the word of God. Yes, but how? Okay, this morning, I'm going to share with you practical ways to intentionally reach out to our oikos. Okay? Uh, meron po tayong mga lima. Okay. Number one is, uh, we cannot give what we don't have. Okay? John 1:12 to 13, sabi dito, Yet to all who did receive him, To those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. Children born of, not of natural descent, but nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Okay, dito sa, sa verse na binasa po natin, hindi lahat ng tao ay anak ng Diyos. No? Hindi lahat ng tao ay anak ng Diyos. Ang lahat ng tao ay nilalang ng Diyos. So, for you to be part of the family of God, you must be saved. Okay? So, you must be a Christian first. Kasi wala kang ibibigay kung, kung wala ka. Kung wala kang Christ sa iyong buhay, wala kang ibibigay sa, sa, sa ating mga oikos. Okay? So, hindi, uh, hindi sapat yung ako ay mabuting tao I have good morals. I'm even religious. I'm good to everyone. Hindi sapat yun eh. You need to have Christ in your life. Okay, so how do I know that I am Christian? So can I, can I ask, pose this question? Sino ang mga Christian dito? Taas ang kamay. Yung mga iba hindi nagtaas. Okay, dito. Sa banda dito. Mga Christian. Okay. Yung iba, hindi sigurado. Ganyan. Okay, so how do, how do you know that you are a Christian? Napaka-simple. Pastor, napaka-simple na mga pinipreach mo. Yes. Actually, the gospel is very simple. Now, we don't have to complicate it. Hindi na natin kailangan gawin natin itong komplikado. Napaka-simple ng gospel. Okay. To be a Christian, number one, you must be born again. Okay? So yung born again, um, so yung mga nagtaas ng kamay, can I ask you, are you born again? Yes. No? Na born again kayo. Okay, for the sake of those uh, who are here for the first time or whatever, if you don't know the meaning of born again is, uh, you must be born in the Spirit. Tulad ni Nicodemus, he, he once came to Jesus and asked, what, what must I do to be saved? Sabi ni Jesus, you must be born again. Born of the Spirit. Okay? Every person, 
hindi yung uh, we we are a spiritual being di ba man has three parts spirit soul and body now if you don't have Christ your spirit is dead you cannot have you cannot relate to God but your spirit can relate to other spirit you cannot relate to the spirit of God So, kailangan ma-born ma again, ma-renew ang, ang spirit po natin para tayo magkaroon ng relationship with God the Father. We can relate to Him, we can pray to Him, and He can relate to us. So, kailangan ma-born again po tayo. And the second thing is, meron tayong repentance. We must have a whole heart turning to Christ. Repentance, Acts 3.19. Repent then and turn to God so that He will forgive your sins. Itong uh, repentance na ito, it involves a change of hearts, change of motives, change of attitude. In short, meron mag, mag, magbabago sa iyong buhay. Now, if you want to know that uh, you are sure that you are a Christian, meron nabago sa iyong buhay. Okay? At kasama ng repentance ay faith. Repentance is you are turning turning yourself against uh, uh, turning away from sin no repentance and faith you are turning yourself towards god yun ang faith okay so napaka importante and num- thirdly we must be regenerated in our heart kailangan uh, tanggapin natin ang, ang uh, si jesus para ang kanyang spirito his spirit can come to us then we, he can regenerate us Mag, magkaroon ta di ba sabi sa second corinthians 5:7 you are a new creation in christ the old has gone and the new has come so magkakaroon tayo ng spiritual renewal okay and um yung may may mangyayari sa ating buhay sa ating puso i think uh, the first heart transplant was done in the 1960s No, si Dr. Bar, Christian Barnard ang, ang, ang pasimuno doon the heart transplant the first successful heart transplant and the operation was considered a miracle in the medical circle ngayon pag naborn again ka it's also a miracle yung heart of stone natin ay mapapalitan ng obedient heart to God. Okay? So that's how you know that you are a Christian. Amen? So napaka-importante. Number two, we should be open and natural. Be open. Be open that you are a Christian. No, you, uh, you, you, don't, uh, you don't have to keep it a secret. Ang pagiging Kristiyano po natin. So we must be open. We must be willing to share to others about about Christ, no? So this readiness to share in uh, maging careful to po tayo, wag, wag tayo maging masyadong aggressive. No? Pag naging ag- aggressive, minsan masyado tayong aggressive uh kay sino lang uh, born again ka na ba? Uh, are you safe? Ganun. Wa, hindi pa tayo nabibuild ng relationship. Yung iba na offend No? So, we, 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 we need to, to have some uh, technique. Mamaya isi-share ko. Okay? So, a wise, wise Christian will have meant natural opportunities for witnessing to his co-workers, neighbors, family, and friends. Maraming uh, klase. Maraming paraan. No? But some of us, on, uh, we, we do our witnessing hindi by words, by action. I will live my life. That, that's good, pero kulang eh. Minsan kulang yun. Kailangan natin ng i, maging open tayo na, na maging Christian. Tulad ng example, dalawang magkaibigan, si Robert, siya ay uh, naborn again and uh, He, he, he was really a changed man. Tapos, si, yung kanyang kaibigan na si Peter, nakita siya, uy, merong, merong nabago sa, sa kanya. 
no? Si kay Robert, umattend kasi si Robert ng isang retreat na born again siya, pero hindi siya nagshi-share. He just he just live his life a changed life. Pero nung, nung si Peter na na-invite din ulit sa retreat na yun na sinamahan ni Robert. Tapos nakita niya si Robert doon. Pero magka, magkatrabaho, tapos si Robert hindi niya in-invite si Peter. Iba pa ang nag-invite kay Peter. Tapos sabi, oh, bakit, bakit ano, andito ka pala, di, di, dito ka pala na born again, ba't hindi mo sinabi sa akin na no, noon pa? Bakit mo tinago sa akin to? Okay? So, hindi, kailangan natin maging open, no? And uh, the, the decision to be open about our Christian life will result in opportunity. And the best way to open is is in is in response to the needs and interests of others. Okay? Marami tayong pwedeng gawin na maging open. Tulad ng uh, nabanggit ng ating brother uh, Henry kanina, maraming may sakit. If you if you see somebody uh, in your family or sick, ipagpray niyo. Mayroon mo, biglang gumaling. The, the prayer of faith, di ba? You, 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 do, you do such things. Okay. And number three is we must build bridges. And I, I, I thank God na nakikita ko, you have many bridging events. No? Meron kayong youth, meron sa women, meron sa senior, meron sa men. Uh, mga singles, meron pa din yata kayo sa mga singles, ano? Okay. So, yung, yung pag-build ng bridge is very important. We bring people to experience the life in the, the, life in the body of Christ. No? And example po natin sa Acts. Acts chapter 2, 43 to 47. Sabi dun, Then fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now who all believe were together and had all things in common and sold their possession and goods and divided them among all as anyone has need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who are being saved. So na experience ng, ng uh, yung mga mga early church, no? Nag-invite sila ng tao to to experience the 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 church life, the life in 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 the church. Okay? So, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ang if you uh, if you want to do intentional witnessing, you must invite people to come to our bridging event, no? Or you must To, to your cell groups, to your uh, um, prayer groups, no? invite them. So our aim is not to sell a product. Our aim is not to sell a product, but, but to extend the fragrance of the knowledge of Him. For we are to God the aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one We are the smell of death. To the other, the fragrance of life. Yung mga ayaw sa, sa samyo natin, amoy kamatayan daw. But those who want Christ in their lives, we are the fragrance of God. No? So invite people to, to, to your bridging event. And number four, this is one of the most important part power of specific prayer specific prayer now yung uh, may isang babae nag nagpa-plant ang gaganda ng halaman niya no tinanong siya ng kanyang kaibigan but ang gaganda ng halaman mo paano mo pa, paano mo ginagawa well i plant them in the name of jesus i plant you in the name of jesus so Parang ano, parang very spiritual ano. Pero you, you can do that. Amen? You can do that. The, the people who are serious about reaching 
others for Christ are serious about pray, prayer too. So, napaka-importante ng prayer. So, tulad ng story ni Mary. Si Mary, nag-attend siya ng uh, Christmas reunion. So, siyempre pag reunion, andyan ang mga kamag-anak, mga kaibigan, no? lalo na pag ang clan yung malaking clan. No? Pag nag-reunion, eh, buong, parang isang barangay. <laughs> pag nag-reunion. So, nagkaroon siya ng burden sa kanyang mga kamag-anak. Tapos, nag-pray siya. Tap, nung nag-pray siya, Lord, ano, anong gagawin ko, Lord? Lord, baguhin niyo itong mga kamag-anak. Ano, iligtas niyo po sila. Parang na-sense na ni Mary na si Lord sumagot sa kanya. Ang sabi ni Lord, alam mo Mary, kaya kayang kaya kong tulungan ang mga, mga kamag-anak mo. Yung mga problema nila sa buhay, kayang kaya ko yan. I, ang sabi, ang, ang ganito ang gawin, ipan, ipanalangin mo ang kaligtasan nila para maibigay ko sa kanila ang mga pangangailangan nila. So, pe, sabi ni Mary, pero Lord, kilala ko ang mga yan eh. Hindi na sila magbabago. Ganyan na yan eh. Mga walang, walang, walang hindi sila mga reliyoso, mga walang ano. Then, na-realize ni Mary na naging presumptuous siya. In-stereotype na niya yung kanyang kamag-anak na wala nang, wala nang, uh, Uh, wala nang pag-asa, maligtas. So, nag, nag-repent siya at sinimulan niyang ipinalangin. Pinalangin. Specifically, ang, 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 ang kanyang mga kamag-anak. So, for the next three weeks, nag-pray siya. pinag niya. So, after that, a week later, tumawag ang, ang kanyang kapatid na babae. Alam mo, sabi niya, na naginip ako na dalawang gabi, sunod-sunod, na muntik na akong mamatay. At ako'y takot na takot. At nung isang gabi, na naginip din ako, natuluyan ako, namatay ako. Sabi nung kanyang kapatid, pumunta daw ako sa heaven. Hindi ako pinapasok. Dahil yung pangalan ko wala sa aklat ng buhay. Kaya yun, nung pagkasabi na yun, doon na niya ni Mary ang sa kanyang sister. Na born again. Ang kanyang sister. So yung, yung prayer ni Mary ay effective number one, he, he is motivated by genuine love no yung talagang passion no yung yung compassion niya passion for her her relatives na na hindi paligtas na alam niya na pag namatay ang kanyang mga kamag-anak ay mapupunta sa impierno by the way ang impierno ay totoo No? Well, uh, kasi yung mga iba ang paniwala nila pag namatay period, the end hindi sila naniniwala sa impyerno pero ang sabi ng salita ng Diyos ang impyerno ay totoo it is the play, play, place for the devil and those who rejects Christ so yung prayer niya ay motivated by genuine life number two, he was sensitive to the Holy Spirit Okay? He was sensitive. Okay? So, uh, so uh, practical tips in praying. Number one, we must set aside the time and place to pray. For example, let's say every every morning, every... Kaya nang bahala kung, kung saan, saan yung gusto mag-pray. No? You can... Pray for 
five, ten, fifteen minutes, three times a, a week or every day you can pray for them. Ano yung pagpapray mo? Pray, pray the five blessing for them. Alam niyo yung five blessing? Pray for their body to have good health. Pray for their job. Pray for their emotion. For jo- joy, peace in their lives. Pray for their relationship in social life nila. And also pray for their spiritual life. The five blessing. Pray for the body, labor, for the labor, emotional, social, and spiritual. Number two, establish a reasonable goal. So sinabi kong target in your oikos, sino ba tatarget, tatargetin natin? So you ask the Holy Spirit, sino ba sa mga oikos mo ang gusto mong i-target? So you can target at least two, three, or five. Huwag ka naman masyadong marami. Mga two, uh, two, three, five, ganyan. Ilista mo ang pangalan nila, then you pray for them every day. Pray for them. Pray the five blessing for them. Pray that the Holy Spirit will convict them. Pray that the Holy Spirit will, will take away the bad habits that they are doing right now. No? You, you just pray. And number three, join with others. No? Kung meron kayong prayer group, cell groups, no? pwedeng uh, ibigay, ibigay mga prayer list. You can, can you pray with me for, for my oikos? Itong, itong mga pangalan na ito, pray with me that the Holy Spirit will, will touch them and, conv- and draw them to Christ. No? Join, join with others. And number four, pray with patience. Pray with patience. Okay? Patient prayer is a very potent prayer. Ang example then is, is, is George Mueller. Uh, he's uh, in the 18th centuries or 19th centuries. Uh, he's an evangelist. He, 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 he targeted his five friends. No? He prayed for his five friends. So ang target niya, one of them, after wala pang isang, isang taon, one of them came to Christ. Then, after 10 years, yung dalawa, nakakilala sa Panginoon. After 10 years. He prayed for 10 years. Then, yung sa, may, ilan ba? He, he prayed for five, di ba? One, two, three. Tatlo na naligtas, dalawa na lang. Yung pang-apat, after 25 years, naligtas. Pero mo, si George Mueller prayed for him for 25 years. Ang tigas nung panglima, no? Namatay na si George Mueller, hindi pa naligtas. Pero, dun, dun sa, dun sa lamay, Dumalaw yung kaibigan. At nalaman niya na pinagpapray pala siya na for 50 plus years. Doon dun tumanggap yung, yung ikalima. Nung namatay na si George Mueller. Tayo, mandali natin tumigil eh, no? Siguro magta-target tayo. Huwag kayong tumigil ka agad. Mag-target tayo ng tatlo, apat, lima. Isang buwan pa lang eh. Tumigil na tayo. Lord, hindi yan effective yung prayer ko. Huwag tayong tumigil. Amen? Huwag tayong tumigil. Persevere po tayo sa prayer. So, in the spiritual realm, instant results are very real. Wala yung instant eh. So, we, we advise to prepare for the long haul sa prayer. So prayer for the family can be a challenge. Di ba? But we must not forget all things are possible with God. Nothing is impossible. So kung inaakala mo yung pinaka black sheep na yung pamilya, hindi na maliligtas yan. Baka yun pa maging pastor sa inyong pamilya. 
yung pinaka pilyo, pinaka salbahe sa inyong angkan, kala nyo hindi na maligyas. Maniwala lang tayo na one day makakakilala rin sa, sa Panginoon. Okay? So number five na po tayo. Steps how to evangelize our oikos. So, lahat po tayo, we are concerned for the spiritual welfare of our oikos, di ba? We are, are, are you concerned? No, yung mga kamag-anak, kam, mahal natin sa buhay na hindi paligtas o yung mga yung mga napapalayo sa Panginoon, no? So we are very concerned. A, a close relationship is an ideal, di ba? Tulad ni Peter, uh, ni Andrew and Peter, di ba? Nung nak- nakilala ni Andrew si si Jesus, unang hinanap niya si Peter eh. Di ba? So, yung mga oikos natin na nakilala na tayo ay mas uh, mas mad- mas uh, madali at the same time mahirap. Lalo na yung mga kapamilya natin, ka-close natin. No? Bakit? Bakit mahirap? Because they are familiar with our weaknesses, with our problem po natin. Yung mga kahinaan natin, alam nila. At nakikita nila kaagad yung ano, yung yung kung totoo ang kinikilos natin o hindi. Madalas pa nga, eh, di ba? Uh, pag, uh, for example, na, na, naging Christian ka na, tapos nagagalit ka sa kapatid mo na hindi pa Christian. Oh, ganyan ba Christiano? Sinecheck ka pa niya. Mas uh, alam pa niya kung anong dapat ikilos mo. Eh. And they are the ones uh, who can readily provoke our worst behavior. Alam niya kung saan tayo pipindutin para ma ma mawala mag magwala tayo <laughs> no mahirap napaka uh, so an effective witness kailangan natin ng special wisdom from the lord napaka importante nito to evangelize our oikos or tulad ng example si si Tom uh, gusto niyang ma-evangelize ang kaniyang uh, kapatid so pumunta siya sa birthday ng kaniyang kapatid at sinama niya ang kanyang, uh, uh, yung, mga, yung nagdi-disciple sa kanya. Sinama niya. Doon sa birthday party ng kanyang kapatid. Eh siyempre, hindi pa naman, hindi pa naman uh, Christian. Hindi pa naman nakatumanggap sa Panginoon yung kapatid. Ang ginawa nung kasama ni Tom, pinagsabihan niya, oh, ba't kayo umiinom? Hindi niyo ba alam na hindi maganda? So, na-turn off kagat. So kailangan natin ng mga wisdom. No? So here are some steps on how we can evangelize our close friends and relatives. Number one, we should start with the heart. No? Start with the heart. The closer the relationship, the more critical is this principle. For example, asawa mo. Ikaw na una kang maborn again na share mo asawa mo. 'Di ba napaka-close ng relationship? Be mas critical. So beginning with the heart it hindi hindi ibig sabihin we 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 take the direct approach. Ah, uh, ang example nung si ano uh, si Keith Miller, uh, he siyang sumulat ng uh, book na A Taste of New Wine. Si Keith Miller na nakilala niya ang Panginoon at gusto niyang i-share sa kanyang asawa. Pero kahit anong gawin niya, ayaw ayaw sumunod sa kanya ang kanyang misis. So, very frustrated na si Keith. So, ginawa niya lahat ng paraan. Binilahan niya ng kung ano-ano. 
Hanggang sa humingi siya ng tulong kay Lord. Lord, bakit? Sineshare ko si, si Mrs. Bakit ayaw niya? Nung prinay niya ang prayer niya, napatuon ang kanyang paningin doon sa basurahan. Doon sa basurahan. Yun ang point of contention nila yung, sa away nila. Ang, uh, sa pamilya ng kanyang misis, yung kanyang daddy, ang kanyang tatay, ay siyang tagalabas ng basura. Pero dito sa, sa pamilya ni Kit, hindi. So ayaw niyang gawin. Sabi niya, Lord, iba na, wag, wag lang yung basura. Pero sumunod siya sa Panginoon. Nung, uh, nung ginawa na niya yun, napataas ang kilay ng kanyang asawa. Ba? Ibang klase ah. Ang kung hate na hate na yun, magtapon ng basura. So, everyday ginawa niya yun hanggang sa madala niya sa Panginoon. Ang kanyang asawa. So, kailangan natin ihanda yung puso nung, nung sishiran natin. Okay? Bakit yung the long principle na, na we can learn from from this story? Number one, the taking out the trash is an act of service. No, he could clean the house, scrub the floor, bring her flowers every day, buy buy her a big diamond. Pero yung yung pagtatapon lang ng basura ang talaga ano? Dahil para sa para sa kanyang wife itong ang love language pal niya is service no alam niyo ba yung bad, uh, love language love language alam niyo ba ang love language niyo meron lima yun eh no words of affirmation gifts quality time acts of service and touch So yung love language ng kanyang misis ay service. Service and gawin niya yung ano yung yung pag-service. So the, this number two, this small act signaled a positive change. Doon niya nakita yung talagang pagbabago sa kanyang mister. Ginawa niya yung pinakaayaw niya. Okay. So number one, start with the heart. Then move to the head. Step number two, move to the head. Dito sa second stage na ito, we are not to draw a response from the person, but to communicate the truth. And we should not normally addressing areas that need to change. Huwag muna natin i-share na kailangan ng pagbabago sa kanya. For example, if you are uh, sharing, lalong-lalo na, uh, yung mga, may mga kamag-anak tayo na kandado, sarado, na katoliko. No? Maaring may mga, meron pa silang mga baby Jesus sa bahay. Pag yun ang, ini, uh, yun ang inano mo sa kanya, close kagat ang door. Close kagat ang door. So you, you, you need to communicate And at this stage, yung ano, yung personal sharing, hindi yung theological sharing, yung personal sharing natin. Paano tayo? Uh, by the way, uh, alam niyo ba ang uh, pagkakaiba ng sharing Jesus and witnessing for Jesus? Sharing and witnessing. Okay, sharing, uh, witnessing na lang. Witnessing muna is you are telling them what the Lord has done for you. And sharing Jesus, you are telling them what the Lord can do for them. Okay? Yung sharing and witnessing Jesus. Yan, alam niyo na yung difference, no? Sharing and witnessing. Now, af- after na, na umpisa mo ng puso at na i-communicate mo na sa kanyang head, doon na tayo papasok sa will. No? Itong will natin ay uh, pinaka-importante. Hindi natin itong ma- mapipilit kailangan uh, kasi mayroong mga ibang nag uh, I I once had an experience 
ay matagal na ito eh, mga 10, 20 years ago, dun sa isang week. Tapos, may yung, yung, <clears throat> yung isang kamag-anak, yung isang ano ng, ano, uh, kapamilya ng disease, sabi niya, Pastor, halika, samahan mo ko. May, may, mayroong gusto magpa-pray. Uh, sabi ko, anong gusto mong pag-pray? Pray ng healing. Ah, okay. So, doon sa, doon at that time na yun, meron, meron siyang kasama, isa rin na, na pastor din. Tapos, nung ipagpapray ko na for healing, sabi na, oh, pastor, teka, wait muna, ba't mo ipagpapray ka agad? Patanggapin muna natin. Talaga, pinat- pinatanggap, oh, Oh, bago ka namin pag-pray, kailangan pag, ano, sumunod, ka, sumunod ka sa akin. Na pinatanggap niya kay Jesus. Pinatanggap niya. Oh, so, so, sige, sabi po, ikaw na rin mag-pray. Kasi ang paniniwala niya, kailangan, you have to be a Christian para pagalingin ka ni Jesus. I don't think so. Saan sa Bible, di ba, si, si Jesus pinapagaling muna niya? bago niya sabihin, go and sin no more. Di ba? So, wag, wag natin um, ipilit yung will. Hayaan natin na mag, magkaroon ng kairos moment, yung right timing. Right timing. So, itong, itong three step na ito, yung, yung sa heart, sa head, at sa will, wala namang perfect formula yun eh. Minsan na una, una yung ano eh hindi naman kailangan number yung number 2 number 2 kagad yung number 2 maaring na, maging number 1 no So it will intermingle Okay so I would I would conclude with this no Sabi ni Jesus sa Mark chapter 5 verse 19 to 20 Jesus did not l- let him. So, bigyan ko kayo ng konting background. May nahil si Jesus yung demoniac na diniliver ni Jesus yung, yung isang uh, tao na nasa cemetery na, na na deliver siya. And he wants to follow Jesus. After the deliver, sabi, sabi ni Jesus, no, you go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you. And how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And all the people were amazed. Ganon din po tayo eh. So we must do intentional witnessing sa ating mga oikos. Dahil nakatanggap tayo ng grace, no? wag, wag, tayo, wag natin tanggapin yung grace in vain. kailang i-extend natin yung grace sa ating mga oikos. Minsan, oh, okay na tayo dahil tayo ligtas na. Bahala kayo sa buhay niyo kung ayaw nyo tanggapin. Wag. Let, ang, kaya tayo niligtas, hindi tayo niligtas ni Lord para pumunta lang ng langit. Remember, Jesus, bakit dumating si Jesus? Jesus came not to be served, but to serve. Kaya kung tinagap natin si Jesus, we agree to be the part of his body. We are now his body. Christ is the head and we are the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is to do the ministry, to do the work, to do evangelism. Lahat tayo may ministry. We are all ministers of reconciliation. Napakagandang itong itong uh, itong uh, mensahe po natin. It's very priceless. Minsan nagtataka ako bakit tayo mahihiya? Bakit natin kinakaya itong gospel na i-share? Na pag tinanggap nila mapupunta sila sa heaven and uh, 
sigurado ko pag uh, pag tinanggap nila pagdating sa heaven ay very thankful siya. Magiging very thankful at na-share mo sa amin ang gospel. Hindi mo hindi mo pinagkait sa atin. No? Let us not take the 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 grace of God in vain. I-extend po natin to intentionally. 